Blender comes with a number of interesting add-ons, and in this video you'll see how easy it is to use one of these add-ons to create this paper tape text. For this video, I'll be using Blender version 2.83.4. Let's start by adding some text. Then rotate it. Now tab into edit mode to change your text. Then tab back into object mode. Next, switch to the Object Data tab, open the Geometry section, and set the Extrude value to add some thickness to the text. We need to convert the text into a mesh, so right-click and select Convert to Mesh. Now tab into Edit Mode. This text has a lot of duplicate vertices, so let's remove them. So press A to select all. Then right-click and select Merge Vertices, and then By Distance. And right before I click this, you'll notice that we have 1,992 vertices. Now after I click it, we only have 996 vertices. Next, we're going to separate the letters into individual objects. So press P and select by loose parts. Now tab back into object mode. Now we'll enable the add-on that we're going to use. So from the edit menu, select preferences, and then switch to add-ons. Then select Add Curve and add a check mark next to Add Curve Extra Objects to enable it. Once you enable this add-on, if you press Shift A, you will have a lot more curve objects that you can add. The one that we're going to use is in the Knot section and it's called Bounce Spline. We're going to be applying the Bounce Spline function to each of the letters individually and so I'll show you another way to do this. So press N to open the sidebar and switch to the Create tab. Then open the Spline Generator section. Now all we need to do is to select a letter and click the Bounce Spline button. So I'll select the first letter and click the button. This adds a curve that bounces around the inside of the text. Now open the last operation panel so that we can customize the settings. A thousand bounces seems like too many and so I'm going to set this to 500. The extrude value will give the curve some width, which will make it look like paper. I'm going to set this value to 0.015. Next, we'll set the material for it. So switch to the Material tab and click the New button to add a material. Name this material Paper. I'm going to change the roughness value to 1 and keep all of the other default values. Now select the next letter and click the Bounce Spline button. This will use the same bounce and extrude values that we just set. Then click New to add a material and select the paper material. Repeat this for the rest of the letters. I'll pause the video while I do this. I'm finished with all of the letters. We don't need the original text anymore and so I'm going to delete all of the letters. Now, after adding a floor and setting up the lighting, it looks like this. This is rendered with the Cycles Render Engine using 1000 render samples. If you look at the paper up close, you'll notice that there are places where the paper is passing through itself. But when it's zoomed out, it doesn't seem too noticeable and so I'm not concerned about it. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.